Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic Vanilla Hardcore. Our Shaman run here on Blood Cell Buccaneers. Thank you guys for clicking on the video and choosing to spend some of your time here with me. I do appreciate it, and I hope you're all doing well. Despite the Arctic Blast that's, you know, destroying people's lives. Hope you guys are safe and warm. Today was probably the coldest weather I have felt in a very long time with the wind chill. And uh, I didn't appreciate it. My dog and I made it to the end of the street. And then we had to turn back. <laughs> we were not even going to make it around a block. That's how brutal it was. Absolutely brutal. Looks like we're going to be getting a little bit of a break from it here at least over the next few days. So I'm really looking forward to the temperature being like, you know, like 30, 28, something. <laughs> at this point, if we get a 30 degree day, it's, it's going to feel warm. It's going to be kind of crazy. So we're looking for a shipment of boots and a telescopic lens down here. Which is going to be interesting. Because without Questy, it's going to be a little bit harder to know exactly where it's at, isn't it? Yeah, it's been a it's been a pretty it's been a pretty rough week. I had just started getting into a really good routine of walking my dog. He's not a good walker. He he's very reactive to people and to other animals and he's slowly getting better about it, but just started getting into the habit of walking him, and put testing his boundaries and you know, getting him further and further from the house, feeling comfortable and then it got so wicked cold. And even then we've been pushing through and I usually can get out for a decent length walk in the afternoons when it's at its quote warmest end quote. But I, I like to walk several times a day just because we can't go far, you know, he's not ready to go far yet. So we go around a block, go around two blocks. So I take him out, usually I was taking him out three or four times a day. Uh, and then it got brutally cold and now we've been lucky to get out like once or twice for a very short period of time. Let's go a little bit further here. Let's get some weapon buffs up. I inventory, I probably could have taken better care of our inventory before leaving. I need to be able to look at some of these camps and just kind of like run my cursor over the ground to make sure no items are there. Oh, we've got, we've got friends here. This is going to be an interesting one. I wonder if I can get her to run at us. That's what I really need her to do. There we go. Okay, and now I need to eat and drink. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of keep running my cursor over the ground in these camps and see if we find anything clickable. That's going to involve clearing to the to the camps. Okay, I'm not seeing it at this one. 
Let's move on. A part of me is worried also that it could be on the ship. Part of me is worried about that. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Does it say where it is exactly? Maybe I should take a closer look. Head down to the pirate... The pirate camp. So it does say camp. Oh, here we go. Fragile, do not drop. There's one of our items. It's surrounded by guys who are packed very closely together. This will be interesting. We're going to have to fight uh, Baron Longshore again. Gonna have to use our Stone Claw Totem here. Alright, we are out of mana, but I think we're gonna be just fine here. So this is probably the telescopic lens, now we just need the shipment of boots. We are going to go back here and check this other camp. I am going to try to avoid some guys. Just while we regenerate our mana and health here. There we go. That looks like the crate that we're looking for from uh, Drizzik's Emporium. Let's clear the cannon here. Yeah, the problem is if, if we get close enough to click, we're definitely going to pull this other guy. The other problem is if we don't get in there to click... Somebody else is going to come click. Oh boy. This is not what we wanted. Let's come in here and drop this. Alright, it looks like our hunter buddy is going to pick that one up for us. We have to grab this crate though. I, I can't not grab the crate. Okay, it looks like we're in the clear. Let's go ahead and just get out of here. We have the North Watch quest, but it's... I feel like it's a bit of a higher level. Maybe I didn't even grab it. Oh yeah, it's, it's way down here. It's definitely red. We're definitely not doing it right now. We will be back closer to like level 21, I think, for that one. Sounds better. We could have hearth out of here, I guess, but I think we'll just run it. I feel like I never used the hearthstone with the hour cooldown.
let's go ahead and vendor. I think I'm gonna pick up some more milk as well. Talk to me. Somebody let me know that we don't need the lieutenant's insignia anymore. Thank you for that. We will go ahead and drop that one. And that's just about all we can do, I think. Keep it real. Let's go give the supplies to our goblin buddy over here, Gazlo. And then we will take a flight over to the crossroads. We have a quest to turn in there, and then we have to find one more raptor head. In fact, we should probably just run to the crossroads, and that way maybe we'll find the raptor along the way. Would be better than flying. We could do some skinning as well along the way if we want to do that. I sure could use your help, kid. And that's all he has for us for now. Maybe we do Stagnant Oasis while we're down here. The Stagnant Oasis is somewhere right over here, so maybe we should do that. Eventually, we'll probably have to find this guy. Yeah, I, I think for now we should head over to the Oasis. And maybe we'll be able to find a raptor somewhere. You got a two-handed mace. Right back. Lots of two-handed stuff, but no one-handers. So for this one, we need to get to the middle of the lake and we need to plant the dried seeds in, the, in one of the fissures. Pretty sure there's going to be some higher level angry turtles around this one. And there's probably going to be Kolkar Centaur as well. So we need to keep our eyes open because they're probably going to be blending in pretty well here. Alright, we have a druid here. Ferotica. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'm not gonna loot, or I'm not gonna skin his, his guys here. Unless he, like, leaves the area and we see him not coming back. Then again, he, he, has, he has killed quite a few things here. And I don't know if he's gonna come back down here for these. You guys kind of know how I feel about uh, leaving bodies behind. I always skin as I go. If I wasn't going to skin as I went, I would leave my loot on the corpses, and then I would come back and do it all. So I'm assuming that because this guy killed these and then moved on, uh, that he's not a skinner. So when I'm skinning all these, it's with the complete understanding that this guy must not be a skinner. Um, 
because he totally left these guys here. He left the area. He's not here anymore. And yeah, so I don't feel bad. It's skins and we need them. All right, that's perfect. If we head this way, we can fight a few more centaur, work on our bracers a bit. We've got these patrollers that can sometimes be a huge problem. Have I mentioned how much I love Stoneclaw Totem and how overpowered it is? are going to need to focus on making some more food soon. So we are starting to run a little bit low. Well, we got a little lower on health there than we probably should have. Especially knowing that there are patrols that run through here with puppos, uh, I need to be more careful. Originally, I thought I was just trying to fight to the road. I'm not really trying to farm these guys, but working on this quest a bit would be useful, and then we'll have to hunt down the leaders. One of the leaders spawns here, it's just not the leader that we need right now. The leader that we need right now is up in like the northwestern area. Over by the first oasis that we tackled, I think. Let's start heading north. We do need to find another raptor as well before we get back to the crossroads. Speaking of raptors and runners, I see a runner back here and a raptor right here. If we're lucky, we don't get both of them inevitably. There we go, that's the last head we need, guys.
I didn't see this one here originally. They blended right in. I saw the one back here. I was thinking about the one back here, but I did not see this one. And we got too close and we aggroed it. Guide you. Your findings are amazing. The seeds I gave you were dried and dead. Whatever rests under these oases can create life from nothing. We must study this more. Your findings are incredible, Rambles. These oases hold properties that must come from an outside source, or perhaps an inside one. I want to know how these fishers are affecting the bees who drink from the wa oases' waters. Hunt oases snapjaws at the lush water and stagnant oases. Bring me their shells so I may examine them. So now we need some of those turtles that we were skinning before. Got a couple of things to turn in over here. Prowler claws to Sergra. Glory to the horde. Ah, I see you've been busy lurking in the grasses and hunting prowlers. Do you think then it is time to face a champion among them? Ekiyaki. White Mist Ekiyaki in the Torin tongue is the king of the Savannah Cats. He hunts with such stealth, they say he's like a thin white mist on the earth. And he kills so, so fast his prey have no time for fear or pain. The Torin say he is both mercy and death. You will learn if that is true, for now I set you on the path to hunt Ekiyaki. His lair is in the northeast of the crossroads, among the bones of giant Kodo. Go, blow this horn when you reach his lair. Blow the horn and he will come. Go with Indeed he will. Let's turn the other one in. Hey, we hit level 16, which is great. We can uh, probably just head right over to Orgrimmar and learn our level 16 Spray skills right away. And there are the raptor heads. Stolen silver. You may have killed the raptors, but the silver they stole must be recovered. I have reports that the raptors have a large grouping of nests south of Ratchet, known as the Raptor Grounds. It is likely that they brought our stolen sil silver there. Go to this raptor haven and search for the stolen silver. When you find it, return it to me. For the horde. Okay. That's absolutely fine. So, do, what do we want to do now? We could hunt Ekiyaki. We could go do Samaflange up in the north. That might be something that's a little bit of a lower level. We lost the XP for this. I'm not worried about it. We'll just we'll just drop it for now. Uh, let's try to do this. Access the control council at the Venture Company research site. That's going to be up here somewhere. We can just take the road. Do we want to go train first? I 
feel like we have to. Let's... Let's set the hearthstone here, that way we can, uh... We could just hearth back and we can go from there. But yeah, I, I want to go to Orgrimmar and train. I feel like it's really important to stay trained up. Greetings, Wiz. In a hardcore run especially. We're pro we just got new ranks of Lightning Bolt and Earthshock. My biggest thought is that maybe we get another rank of Flame Shock. So that's the biggest reason why we're going back. Alright, let's enjoy the ambient glow of the morning lighting here in vanilla. And I'm gonna drink some coffee while we fly. Kind of been really tempted to start up an Alliance Hardcore run to do side by side with this one. I'm still trying to like feel out whether that would be something you guys would be interested in seeing. It would definitely be something I would be interested in doing. The alternative is that I could play this character more. You know, I, I, could, I could do two episodes a day on this character and kind of progress him a little bit faster. Or we could have a Alliance character going as well. I like having a Horde Alliance variety. I also like focusing on a character. To me, it's hard to think of, like, focusing really hard on a vanilla character, because, like, let's say we do live. It's gonna be a long journey, guys. The interesting thing is we could get, like, a hundred hours into that journey, and then die. <laughs> In fact, that's probably, like, statistically what's likely to happen. I wonder what the statistics are, like, from how many people start hardcore runs. I want to see data about, like, level range hotspots where people die. Like, what's the, what's the most common level bracket for people to die in? That would be data that would interest me. I press F6 where my mount usually is, as if we have a mount. Um, okay, so trainer first. I'm not even sure what class I would do though, like I really want to do an alliance playthrough I say, but like when I think about what class I would do, I don't know. Part of me really wants to do a warrior. I know that supposedly it's the hardest class to hardcore. I'm very familiar with the warrior and very comfortable on it. Uh, I thought about paladin, but then I remembered how boring paladins are in vanilla because they really don't have any buttons to push. So I think I've, I've kind of ruled paladin out, out for now. I always and I have trouble with pet classes. They're they're not my favorites. I'm I'm kind of saving the whole warlock class for the next joyous journeys. And I know that like warlock in vanilla is not the same as warlock in uh, Ra in wrath. But I'm still kind of saving it for joyous journeys. I think uh, purge. We can, we can finally get purge would be a good idea. Here we go. Lightning shield rank two and rock biter rank three. See, we we do need this stuff. We were also able to get purge and clear poisons, which is going to help us. Definitely. Uh, and then... Lightning Shield rank 2. Rock Biter rank 3. Uh, I don't know if we ever put Stone Skin 2 up. We did not. Uh, we've got rank 3 is good. Rank 3 is good there. And purge. There we go. Well, we can uh, purge 
enemy target, removing magic effects, and we can cure ourselves of poisons. So yeah, we are good to go. Uh, anything else we want to do here, we should probably see if we can push our skinning to a point where we can actually get a level up and learn the next rank of it. What are we looking at? We, we don't have a ton of... Oh, no, you know what? We do have a ton of leather. We just don't have a ton of uh, materials. We, we should be good. We should be able to push this a little bit. We should be able to push this. A, I don't know if we'll get it to where we can train it again, but... We should be able to push it a little bit. We, we apparently have a lot of light leather. Holy cow, somebody spoke in general chat. Not allowed. To the immersion tab we retreat to. What do you need? Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna need some kind of cloth. So we need coarse thread still. Strength. Speak. Uh, we could learn expert skinning to push that, but we, we literally don't have the silvers right now to do it, so. That's a thing. Let's buy 20 of these. Just to have them. Uh, that went yellow. Let's stop making that. Let's make these two just to guarantee the skill ups. And let's see if we can learn anything else. I'm sure that we can. Blood and thunder. We can do the belt, a cloak with stamina, or a tunic. I want to get the tunic. Let's just learn all of them. They don't cost that much to learn. Now we need Cured Light Hide. Which we can do, I just need... I need four salt. Let's go over here. Let's create all of these. That's going to be a huge upgrade for us. We're going from 2 Stamina and 62 Armor to 73 Armor, 4 Agility, 3 Stam. Uh, we need more Coarse Thread. And the fine cloak, we need we need fine thread, which actually costs a silver a piece, which is not cheap for us right now. So we're just gonna make one of these to equip it for the two stamina.
Alright, so we can sell all the gloves we made. We don't need those. That'll bring us a little bit of silver back in. Uh, we need to... Equip the cloak. And equip the chest piece. There we go. And we'll sell the old ones. And I think that's all we can do for right now. We are, we're basically out of leather. But that's okay. Let's move a couple of things around a little bit here. Alright, there we go. That is good. We don't have the money we need to train the next rank of skinning yet, so that's going to have to be a priority for us pretty soon. Let's hearth out of here. We'll get back to the crossroads really quick. And then we will head to the north for Samiflange. The other interesting thing in the hardcore run is that, is that I'm not used to being on my feet for so long. We're going to be running until level 40. <laughs> if we live, assuming we li will live that long, right? My assumption is we're going to live forever. That has to be my assumption. And so that means we're going to be walking for a long time. I think it lets you see the world differently. I, th I think having to wait till 40 to get your mount is okay. I think that like having to wait till 40 to get your mount and having it be so expensive is like a double punch. <laughs> I feel like modern gamers could probably wait if when they waited they had the money to get it when they got there. Right? We didn't, didn't have to go farm it up. Usually in, in classic vanilla you have to spend some time specifically farming up the money for your mount. Forgot to do our daily slash who today out here. 32 people found in this level range right now at 10.35 in the morning on a Friday in the frozen hell that we now live in. All you guys are playing the game and it's amazing. And yeah, I, I love that all these people are here. I love it. It's great. I have a great time just looking at the slash who and seeing so many active players. It's a good time. The other amazing thing I got really lucky on is that the server's in U.S. East time, which is the time that I'm in now, so... Works out rather perfectly.
We found a group of gazelles pre-run. Oh, there they go. They're running. Oh, no. They're going to run right at the cats. That That's ballsy of them. All right. I think we're looking over here for the samiflange. I can kind of see it in the distance here. I also see lots of aggressive hyenas in our path. We should at least clear one of them out for safe traveling. I thought this was a player corpse and my heart sank. That's how real it is out here. Oh, hi. Hello. How are you? Mm-hmm. We have action over here. We have an undead priest doing some stuff. I feel like his presence is going to be helpful to us because it means we can run in here and grab the samiflange. Uh, I'm pretty sure we now have to get the key from a guy nearby. Pretty sure that's what happens next. I think he's over here in this hut, so we'll we'll just kind of meticulously clear this area of enemies for a minute just to make sure that we're relatively safe. Oh, you run really soon. Okay, so we need to drop our slowing totems really early. These guys run at like 30% health, and they run fast. Trying to be mana conservative here, that's why we're not casting a lot of spells and relying probably too much on our melee attacks. Uh, I don't want to pull both these guys together if I can avoid it. If I can avoid it, which I may not be able to. Uh, he'll come back, yeah. He went quite far, though, frighteningly. If he had gone in any other direction, that could have been very bad for us. Okay, let's get our mana and health back here. Um, okay. Maybe I missed something. <laughs> oh no, we had to close out the valves. <laughs> Robert, you didn't read the quest. That's not good. I think I skipped a part. Yeah, I think I, I skipped ahead. I skipped ahead. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> we are about to have serious problems. Hmm. We 
Well, I, I'm actually kind of surprised that we lived through that. I thought we were going to pull a bunch more guys. Oh no. Well, that was unexpected. Didn't expect two guys to simply run up on us there. I probably should have. Oh no. <laughs> Our fire totem went ahead and pulled another buddy for us to deal with. That's how that's how polite he is. Okay, this is getting bad. This is getting very, very bad. This guy's not gonna die. Now he's dead. Uh I think this guy we have to we maybe have to uh just leash him. I don't think I really want to try to fight this guy. Yeah, I feel like that's best case scenario. What's going on now? Wait, 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 wait. He was, he was resetting. <laughs> he was resetting, I swear he was. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, this is rough. The respawn right here just cranked itself out. We cannot get to this panel now. We have multiple guys in our way now. Um, definitely just not, not good. Okay. Now we need the key. This might end up being a more dangerous area than I thought it was going to be when we decided to come here. Uh, looks like our priest buddy is lining up to take the shot here at the name guy. We are going to let them go ahead and do that. Oh, he's not only, he's literally having to wait. Mm. That is not good because that means we are going to have to wait even longer. We're kind of in a, we're kind of in a queue here. Uh, we could go fight some harpies. I, I do just kind of want to finish this one up. What we could do is we could try to keep this area clear a little bit. Because we're going to need to come back over here. Once we do get the key.
We are still in combat with something. I, I'm just not sure what. There we go. Almost didn't see this goblin there. He was blending right into everything. Probably a couple minutes on that guy respawning. We'll stay right over here so we kind of stake our claim and uh, we'll notice when he comes back up. I feel like there's also a quest over here we can do. I think I might explore that area uh, once we f finish up with this. Maybe we'll step over there. There might be like some kind of escort quest. Not sure if we'll do it now, so maybe I should wait on that one until we... We're, we have a mine back here we need to investigate as well. So maybe I'll wait uh, until we do that quest. We have been absolutely blowing through mana. It's it's been getting bad. Yeah. Makes me think about ancestral knowledge. Increase your maximum mana by well, it'd be five percent with the five points in it. That was a big resist. It's always rough when they resist that first cast. This guy is welcome to respawn anytime. He, he is truly taking his sweet time, isn't he? Oh man. As if we're not slaughtering enough of his minions out here to tick him off.
we are missing a lot. We there we go. Let's let's go ahead and get him. Oh, there's a chest back here I didn't see. Look at that. Very nice. Yeah, I'm starting to question whether this guy's going to come back up at all. It's getting crazy. I feel like you should... I feel like in, in Hardcore, you should be able to group for named enemies. If there's like somebody waiting on a named enemy, you should just be able to toss him an invite and get the, get the guy together. I'm not... I'm not doing this with you, man. Like, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. I'm going to stand in here like this. At this point, I really don't know what else to do. I can't afford to let this druid get this guy before we do. You know what I mean? I literally can't afford it. We, we've waited too long. This is a cool little shop. I don't know what it is with goblins and the pineapple wallpaper. I feel like every goblin village is full of this pineapple wallpaper. And I'm just curious, like, who thought of it at Blizzard? Who associated it with goblins? And I want to know why. I need to understand the pineapple. Because I feel like the pineapple, it, it it's like I said, they decided, they decided to use it. They put it on the inside of all the goblin huts. Whoever did this, this this means something to them. They're, they put this in here. I don't know if it's like a reference or a joke or what it is, but... Oh boy, I really want this guy to respawn. Uh, I'm like, this Drew is just kind of lurking out here, isn't he? He's probably going to try to tag it. I guess he probably understands the, the spawn rate is low. We got him. Ooh, it was a long wait for him. Alright, our fire totem decided that it was not going to wait, that it wanted to pull right now. Alright. Now we need to drink. We're probably clear to go in, but I want to have health and mana just in case we get jumped while we're in there, which is pretty likely. This has been a, a pretty hectic area that I, I didn't really expect it to be quite as crowded as it has been. Oh, look at this. Alright, now we need to take the device back to Ratchet. Glad to have that one done. Let's head back to the crossroads, shall we? Yeah, I feel like the bags are getting kind of full. There's other stuff we could do. We have a Harpy kill quest out here. I know there's, there's the Emerald quest over here and another quest that we'll do. But I, I don't want to do them right now. I do want to take us back to town.
I feel like taking improved lightning shield would not be bad. We're going to do five points here. It's going to get us down to this tier. I'm going to take one point just to get two-handed axes and maces available. I don't know about enhancing totems. We, we drop this so infrequently. Hmm. Anticipation could help us, like, survive, you know? Yeah, we could, we could go Anticipation and Toughness. Well, we want to do Flurry. Hmm. So many interesting and possibly very tanky talents we could take. I do want to build this out, you know, kind of buff. So I, I don't know if I'll take the improved lightning shield, but I think I will take the... I, I feel like the toughness, the armor would probably be more useful than the dodge, right? But grabbing the dodge too would not be a bad thing. Maybe we grab, maybe we grab all the tanky stuff. I need to learn one, a one-handed axes soon. Because, yeah, we're, it's going to be expensive. I think it's like 9 or 10 silver, but we need to get it learned because we, we do need to start thinking about where we're going to get a weapon upgrade from. We just have to hope for one from a quest or from a vendor. We can find them on vendors. Sometimes vendors do have green items. We just haven't come across anybody with a decent one. guy's got uh, hot lion chops. Definitely going to grab the recipe. The same exact buckler we currently have equipped. Speaking of cooking, are we able to do some cooking? Yeah, we don't. We we haven't been getting a lot of meat. We need to fight more striders because we just have we just have not been getting a lot of meat uh, to cook because we have not been fighting striders at all. We need to go on a leather working, a skinning and, and cooking ingredient farming session and focus it primarily on striders. I feel like. But for now, guys, I am going to take a break here for now. Uh, the next stuff we'll be doing... I keep opening my map like I have Questy. It's like such a bad habit. Uh, what do we want to do next? We could go after Centaur Bracers. Shen's Empty Keg, man. We might do this over time, but... I need to start looking for these, so maybe I pop it over here so we can see it. Maybe Harpy Raiders. Altered Beings, definitely... And uh, so yeah, we'll start with that. We'll, we'll head, we'll head down to do, snap, the snap jaws. There will be the centaur down there. We can finish this one. Uh, eventually, we'll focus on finding the leader as well. We'll we'll post those for now, and we'll think about that for next time, guys. Thank you all so much for being here. I'm having a great time. Thank you for all the comments, all the help. Thank you for being here and giving me the privilege of your time. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we'll see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.